Chara's gonna get his someday, I swear. But more importantly... But more importantly... Who in the world is Toa? <coughs> Enda must be wondering the same thing. Hey, so... You said your name was Toa, right? Yes. That's right. So, um, who are you? Wow. A badass bomb, bomb, blonde bombshell. Huh? Toa, is that you? Rajo, it's been a while. Toa? Huh? Does Rajo know something about this? Why does Rajo know? Okay, so what's going on here? Yeah, I'm pretty curious too. We shall know. I'm pretty curious too. Toki and Toa, we are two separate souls that possess the same body. Souls? Right. It's a phenomenon known as dual souls. We've been like this as long as we can remember. Yeah, it's been like that ever since you were little. You knew about all this? Although I'm simply a member of the wealthy elite, she and I have been friends since childhood. Back then, Toa would just suddenly pop up out of nowhere sometimes. By the time you two entered the picture, I was consciously trying to keep myself hidden. Why would you want to do that? Having the two of us both appearing made things... complicated. Okay. If a boy asked her out, which one of them would go on the date? I guess that makes sense. So... why are you showing up now? I'm... not totally sure. But whenever one of us experiences something, we both know about it right away. Drake seems really surprised, too. What the hell are you people talking about? Ah! Calm down there, Dragon Boy. I think he's trying to tell us he's hungry. Here, you can have this little bug no. my fairy friend got for- No! I don't want a freaking caterpillar. No! I'm not hungry! I thought I was getting married to Toki. Now I have to deal with this Toa girl? Complications! Toki Yay! Sweet, but Toa's. A blonde, she badass bobshell? She'll put pants in the relationship. She'll put my balls in a freaking vice! <laughs> if I marry Toki, that means I'm marrying Toa too, right? What horrible fate awaits me now? Heavens, Drake. What's going on inside that head of yours? Um... A whole freaking lot! Yeah. That. Hey, so, Toa, what do you think about Toki getting married? Good question. Toki was on the outside the whole time, right? Did you two discuss the marriage together? We did. Really? She doesn't seem too happy about it. Anyway, I want to stop the attack on the wedding. That's all that matters. And I'll need oh. everyone's help to do it. Okay. We'll help her whatever we can. For sure! Of course. Ricardo said the guild members could be found on the island surrounding Kamza. I'd like to go check them out. I heard some of them were hanging out on Jaggery Isle. That's right. We did a bit of research on our own. I really appreciate it. I heard there were some on Zucchero Isle. Well, I heard there were some on Penella Isle. Just be careful while you're out there, okay? The real Assassin's Guild people have spread across three different islands. Zucchero Island is one of them. Jaggery Isle. And Penella Isle. So let's head out and get more info. Also, Enda is strangely interested in Ricardo. Toki's body actually contains two separate souls, Toki and Toa. Their personalities will alternate each time they level up. And there are also some special items that will let you change personality whenever you choose. A 
affection balance. Ah, uh, I know that. One-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay. Deepening your affection balance. You may or may not receive a homemade meal from one of the girls when you leave home. Alright, so let's uh, see what you them, each of them have to say before we head out. Hmm. Once we're married, I wonder if Toe is going to start whipping me. Drake. Huh? If he knew I existed in Toki's body, how do you think he would react? Hmm. I think it's safe to assume he wouldn't accept me. After all, we've never even met. Toa. I wouldn't be that way, though. So she's worried. That's actually kind of sweet. Hey, Drake! Guess what? Something awesome happened today! What happened? Oh, yeah? He was so cool. I was there, you know, and uh... You gotta be kidding me. He was cold, but really easy to talk to. And he's so passionate about his assassin fan club thing. Uh. If he were into baking, he'd be perfect. But I can't ask for more than what he is already. Wow. Enda, okay, Enda. Your taste in men is beyond understanding. I'm glad someone's willing to say it. Exactly. Thank you, Toa. Yeah, I can't disagree. And yet, I was still able to find a perfect match for that taste. So, she's really serious about this. He's also the kind of man who would kiss you without your consent. Yeah, what about that? Gosh, I know! Wasn't that just so cool? Really? Good lord. Ugh. Let me know if you run into him on Panella Isle! Anyways... Come on, Drake. We're finally going to take that bath together. Huh? Oh my, okay. Sorry, Rajo. You're sure you don't mind taking care of him? No worries. I've always wanted to bring Drake in with me for a nice bubble bath. A b -b 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 bubble bath? Oh, I can feel all the blood rushing to my head. Uh, Drake? Actually, I think we're all out of that bubble bath stuff. Ouch. <laughs> Oh god. It seems to be foaming at the mouth. You okay? I got overexcited. And for nothing. Oh, that's perfect. I'll just toss him in the bath and he can make the bubbles for me. I'd really rather you not. Toa, go ahead and get washed up before you head off to Jaggery Isle. Did you tell your parents about the whole psychic predicting murder at your wedding thing? Where are her parents? No, and I don't plan on it. Yeah, it's just something Makimona made up. I don't see any reason to worry then. I mean, you know how they like to worry about the smallest things. I can yeah. imagine. Not to mention, they're out of the country right now anyway. On another topic, do you have any money to help you on your way? No, but I'm sure I'll be fine. You're a bona fide princess and you don't have any spending money? I'm on an allowance system. Whoa, I have no idea. Maybe you'll find an allowance on Tsukaro Isle somewhere. Yeah, why not? Alright, so we're gonna save real quick. And then we're gonna head to uh, the first of three islands, basically. Okay, waiting for this. There we go. And exit. Now I think I can start doing side quests, which I will start doing right now if I can. Yep. Uh, main quest, blue. Sub quest, uh, waiting to be activated. The blue is, okay. And the gray. Display all, our three, change control type.
square, world, comes a forest, plaza, world, shops, let's go to main streets. There we go. Um, yeah, let's see what side quests we can activate. Let's check out this one. Rogue Golem. Okay. Uh, Golem will appear at the church square. Someone had better deal with it fast before it costs too much damage. Hey, lady! Give me your gun! A golem's attacking our town! A golem? Yeah! He had to run away! Hey! We didn't run away. We just had to find somewhere to come up with a plan. A knight would never flee from an enemy. Now let me borrow your rifle, and I'll go destroy like pow. I can't like, give you my gun, but I don't mind getting rid of the golem myself. What? Are you sure you can handle it? Absolutely. Please, allow me. Well, if you say so. Where did you last see the golem? In the church square. It shut up right after church. Church square? Could it have something to do with the attack on the wedding? Good luck out there. Thanks. Oh, hey. While we're waiting, can we borrow that mini dragon of yours? No. While you're waiting? I need him to help me take care of the golem. Okay, let's get back to church. Alright, so we're gonna go and kill this dra- or not dragon, kill the golem. I'm a dragon. of interest like I don't think there's actually anything I, if I recall I think I, there's just the golem and that's it and it's actually not a it's actually not a very difficult golem well it is kind of a difficult golem to fight but it's like not freakishly hard there it is we're gonna kill it kill the golem Is this it? I'm gonna show to her what I'm made of. Ow, blowback. An enemy may push you away from them. It's called blowback.
That was a pretty easy fight. I mean, it wasn't the most easiest fight, but at least it wasn't too difficult. And I got a pretty good amount of experience from it. All right, you did it! You took care of the nasty golem! That was even better than I expected. I heard there'd be a large group of golems happen wandering around the area. Yeah, they migrate when the season change. And they like to move in the afternoon. The knights got rid of most of them, but I guess the one was hiding or something. Huh. So I guess it didn't have anything to do with the attack on our wedding. But man, I could have wished I got rid of it myself. Well, if you had got given us the info, we never could have done it. You were like our commander. That's true! Seriously? When I grow up, I'm going to become a real knight and get rid of all the golems I can find. Good, I'm counting on it. Yay, we completed it and got 20 GP. We got money. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not going to do that one quite yet. I want to check out the other, uh, what other parts of town I can go to for, uh... Okay, that looks like the back alley, so we're going to go there. All right. Oh, we got two of them here. All right. Let's go check out this old man. Oh, there is a cat in the wooden box. Hi, Schrodinger. Huh? Put another cat in the box, and... They'll probably be warm. Huh? What are you talking about? I simply love to read. I read many books every day. However, I just finished reading all my latest books. I usually receive my next shipment of books right around this time, but they have not arrived yet. I can't leave my house for fear of missing my delivery, so I'm very bored. Oh, I see. Could you find my delivery girl for me? Her name's N Nellie. Sure, I suppose. She comes from Kamza via the harbor. Alright. So there's that quest. Oh no, this is bad. This is so bad. What's wrong? What's going on? Assassin's Monthly, our magazine, has just run into the biggest problem since we got began publication. Assassin's Monthly? What's that? Our magazine! That's the... That's that one Ricardo and his cronies read, I think. Oh, that's the one about the assassins, right? Yes, precisely. I'm Gloria, the editor-in-chief. Listen, if you're not busy, could you do me a favor? We are busy. My writer's on the Sekiro Isle right now, doing a little interviewing, a little investigating. I don't think she even heard Toa. But he left without his pen and paper. Are those kind of requirements for a reporter? What's his deal? Right? He may have had, he may as well be out for an afternoon stroll. That's true. So, could you get his pen and paper to him? His name's Eddie, and he should be floating around somewhere in Sekiro Isle. <laughs> So I gotta go to Secure Isle to deliver his stuff. Alright, so there's that. What next? Uh, okay, there's a quest here on the church square. Right? Church square. There we go. For some odd reason, I keep forgetting I need to kind of tap it twice in order to go to a certain location. Alright. Madame, I knew you fi I'd find you here. Huh? Are you talking to me? What the heck? Does this kid really know we were going to be here? My name's Kilia. Everyone knows who knows me considers me a child genius. Oh, so you're pretty smart, huh? 
Due to my utterly precise calculations, I live every single moment to the fullest. For example, I just called you madame. Do you know why I called you madam? There was a reason for that? I don't know. Why? Part 1. I knew you, I would seem friendlier if I did. So in my calculation, I simply had no choice. Well, I guess that makes a certain kind of sense. Part 2. I knew I couldn't call you something to say, lady. If I had done that, I would have come off as rude and lowbrow. Maybe, but does that actually, but does any of this actually matter? And those are my reasons for calling you madam. It's also why I said I'd find you here, if I actually did know I'd find you here. So you didn't know. I made sure to say it as mysteriously as possible to make my, to make such a strong impression. Now be Hi, Blue. Uh, this is Time and Eternity. And yes, I am now back, now that I've had gotten done what I need to get done. And I made sure to say it as mysteriously as possible, uh, so it makes a strong impression. Yes, madam, I knew I'd find you here. It was boring. I don't think it had the effect you think it had. And with that, I engraved myself into your very cell. Sure, why not? Putting so much thought into something so trivial just makes this Kilia kid look kind of weird. So, Kilia, why did you put so much thought into how to talk to me? That's what I'm saying. I simply wanted to create a bond between us. You see that I have a favor to ask of you. Favor, huh? Well, then let's hear it. Very well. You see, something has been troubling my genius intellect lately. And that something is love. Love, huh? I'm not too fond of the word myself. Basically, I had basically I have developed feelings for a woman, and I want to confess my feelings to her. Okay. Wow, he's more manly than I would have guessed. But if I am to do, but what am I? If I am to do so, I would like to do so with bold, boldness and determination. Which is why I asked you to get me a man to liver, which, when consumed, gives a person courage. This can't be real. If I were to face speeds myself, I lose nine times out of ten according to my calculations. But if you can get me get one for me, I will give you a gift of my own. So please, head to Jaggery Isle and retrieve one of the matches there. All right. So that quest has now begun. What other quest shall we start? Uh, alright, let's go to the plaza area. I think we can finish off a quest there. Come on. Let's go. And there she is. Our delivery girl. Oh! You know Mr. Schrodinger? The 
book he wanted this time was really hard to find. It took me forever to track it down, so... Let him know he has nothing to worry about. I'll be on my way shortly. Yay! The quest is done. And I got 20 GP. And then another quest began. Uh, apologize for being so late. You know, he told me once how he likes drinking Rad Bull while he reads. Rad Bull? It's a really popular energy drink. Red Bull! Okay! Uh, with my throat the way it is, it's really hard for me to uh, not cough. Would you mind picking up some Red Bull for me? Okay, it's, uh, to make up for him, she would like to give him something nice. So, three Rad Bulls, huh? But yes, uh, Blue, this is Time and Eternity, the PlayStation 3, and it is a very unique game. Welcome! Well, hi there. Uh, a blade? No. Rad Bull. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, that's how it's done. We're coming! I can even upgrade my stuff if I wanted to. How much money do I have? Not enough for jack shit, okay. So, we're gonna go back to the plaza then. Suddenly voice, yes. Uh, some characters are voiced, others are not. I try not to question things. Did you get the Rad Bull? Oh, thank you so much. I'm really sorry, but I have one more favorite. Oh, come on. Could you deliver that in this book to him? Oh, okay, not a problem. Here's the book. What kind of book is it anyway? Spells and promises, huh? What could this possibly be about? Don't ask me. I don't know anything about it, personally. Alright. So I just gotta give him back his book. Not a problem. Ah, <coughs> oh, stupid cough. Doing a live stream sick is not easy. Okay, so we'll go back to the back alley. Yeah, why not? Wait for this to come up. There we go. Okay, that's Eddie's stuff. So, what's a Spells and Promises book about anyway? It's about a world that's falling into chaos, and how the power of a promise can make things right. Wow. Now then, I read. Make you again. Yay, got 20 GP. Is that it? I believe that's just about it for this area, and I could continue on. Main Street. Check this one last time, see what's over here, and then we'll continue on with the uh, main storyline. I told this guy about how strong you were, and he got super interested. He wants to talk to you. He said he'd been looking all over for you. Maybe he's your man of destiny. Actually, I'm her man of destiny. He said he'd be waiting for you at the Jaggery Isle. Oh, really? Really with the Jaggery Isle shit? Okay. Carol Isle, 
We're Jack finally Green getting Isle. ready to face the and actual Penel assassins. Isle. So let's start with this point right first, because why not? Wait, so you weren't going all out before? Depending on story and quest progression, certain symbols will appear on the field. The four types are as follows. Clover. Investigating this will begin an event. Diamond. This appears when you accept certain subquests. Evading. Investigating will give you an item. Spade. This appears when you accept certain subquests. Investigating will initiate a battle. Heart. Okay. And memory side. And investigating will begin a special event with Toki or Toa, after which certain stats will increase. Depending on your choices during the event, stats increase may differ or something special might happen. Each memory site may be for Toki, Toa, or both. First, let's go to the same. Okay, Master Crystals, green. Uh, we activate once investigating. Okay. Yellow is an exit point. Red's a warp. <coughs> cool. Uh, so, that's useless for now. What's with the yellow bar? Now I'm noticing that. You're so different from Toki. What are the guild members doing here? Good question. Really hard to control the camera, that's for sure. I know, you don't usually see games like these where it has like fully animated uh, sprites. Right there. Just beat the shit out of this bird because I can. <laughs> And the answer is no bird. Alright, one down, one to go. Take this giant that parrot of doom. Fatality. GP! Whenever you want to battle or clear a quest, you will earn GP. Gift screen and the main menu to use GP to purchase gifts from Toki and Toa. Once you purchase a gift from one of the girls, the girl will learn a new skill the next time she levels up. Nothing will stand in my way. I had this game for a while, but I never got to play much of it, and I wanted to live stream it before I started really working on uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero. So, let's go to gifts. I'm 84. Two, three, four. Yeah, less than 30 to go, and I'll give her the next one. I'm curious, is there anything over here? camera at least is see it does it, it gets a little confusing trying to get it quite centered correctly. 
Alright, so we'll just go back to where we were. I just hope my voice also too will be 100% back to normal by Tuesday, so that way I can live stream type 0 and not worry. But who knows what I'm ready to go. now. Right there! Wow. There and the other quest is over there. Ooh! Wait a minute. I just want that one, so screw that one. I saw a treasure chest on the mini map. I was like, I'm gonna get it! But nope, 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 nope. I already got it. Treasure chest! Yes, they're, um, they do have fully animated, um, cutscenes instead of, uh, hybrids like this. Um, I don't know how often they are, though. Um, there's only been one so far where the, uh, um, there's a wedding scene. Waypoint, my bad, it's a waypoint on a warp stone. Warp stones are a totally different color. Make sure I go over here to start the next event. If you want to run, do it now. But yeah, um, the hybrids are really only for in game cutscenes and just in game stuff mostly in general, but we do have fully animated cutscenes for uh, what I call the FMP sequences. Yep, as I leveled up yet? Please don't level me up. Nope, okay. Aha, there we go. Hey there, you must be Eddie. Yep, yep, that's me. You guys are out for an afternoon stroll too. Isn't the Carol Isle just lovely? Um, no, we're not on a stroll. We're here to give you work stuff. You know, the stuff you forgot. Huh? Come on, you forgot your pen and paper, right? Oh, you know, I think you might be right. So now you remember. Yeah, come to think of it, I came out here to do an interview. You forgot that too? Phew, that was close. And I was just getting ready to head home. Here, I think this belongs to you. Oh, thanks for that. I'm gonna write the best article ever. What's he even gonna write about? All he did was wander around for a while. Yay, and I got stuff, okay. It is a very casual name. There, I finished my article. Are you kidding? All you did was walk around. What could you possibly have written about? Come on, I'm an ace writer, you know, and this article is going to be a critical knockout for sure. I'm digging into all their deepest secrets. Okay, so what's it about? Well, the title is The Truth Behind the Assassin's Presence on the Island. Huh? I mean, I am a reporter for the Assassin's Monthly. While I was on my stroll, I made sure to observe. And then it came to me, I knew what they were doing here. Yes, he's going to write about grass. Uh, at least, well, I guess he didn't do that bad of a job if he observed everything. You see, this is where they do their training. They call it parkour. So... Why aren't they wearing white and have hidden blades on them? 
That's the method where you train naturally without using any tools, right? That's right. How did you know? They don't use any equipment or anything. Oh, they don't use any equipment or anything. They just run around jumping over stuff. I used to do it myself. Incredible! Wow, Toa. You were doing some tra the same training as the assassins? No wonder you're so strong. So, what's... So that's what they're doing out here on the island. Wow, neat! Your dragon friends th there doesn't seem too interested. But this is reality-changing discovery. Sure. Well, anyway, can I ask you for a favor? Could you deliver my article to Gloria? She should be... Okay, back, okay. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know, that's why I gave him that, that voice, because he does look so bored. I hope he focuses on more interviews and less on strolling. So, do you think you could do that for me? Sure thing. I really hope she likes it. If it goes over well enough, she might finally fall in love with me. <clears throat> okay. Wow, my hammies ran away. Hammies? My hamsters, I can't find them anywhere. I don't mind helping you look for them. Really? You don't mind? Okay, their names are... Cynthia, Claudia, Annie, Dorothy, Elizabeth, Ellen. How many are, did you have? Cecilia, Claudia, and okay. So we got to find uh, Sam the ham seven hamsters. All right. So there are there is a hamster here actually. I remember that from last time I played. I just gotta remember where it's at. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, that finish that one right there so I think that they're gonna be on different islands because the last time I played this I tried looking everywhere in this place for them and I could not find jack shit wait a minute Mike I... I went the wrong way Have you said your goodbye? all right so this game is about this girl named uh, Toki who um, no, 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 other way. Uh, it's about this girl named Toki, who actually is getting married to this guy named Zap, who is that dragon right there. But, on their wedding day, Zack dies, and he gets turned into a dragon after she goes back in time. But the thing is, she doesn't know that her fiance slash husband Zack is that little dragon. Right there. And so he has a lot of curvy bottle bags. Yeah. Oh, Alright, one more enemy left. And she leveled! Strong. Level up! Toki learned Trinity Assault. Toki learned Bolt. Toki learned SP Advantage 20. There are two types of skills, active and passive. Active, these skills can be used during battle and come with some kind of effect. Passive, these skills can be set outside of battle and grant various indirect benefits. Okay, uh, main menu, equipment all skills, we're using battle, so even if you learn a new skill, you can't put it into... Let's do our best, okay? There we go. Now we got our other girl back, so now I can attack Bosey from distance. This is Toki. She is the other person sharing this body. By the way. This is the uh, the wife of the dragon, technically, while the other one is not. Are you? Now, if you 
front of something and go back in a ways and... I deal more damage with a gun as Toki, but I deal more damage with a knife as Toa. So I gotta actually plan my attacks out depending on who I have as my, uh... Oh shit! No, no, no! Ouch. Depending on who I have as my, uh, main hero. Right there! Ow, that hurt me. How many are there left? Two now? Wow, there's four enemies in this fight, so it's gonna be a pretty good, uh... Gonna be a pretty good experience points for this. me, after this fight, I gotta actually go on and, uh, equip, uh, Trinity Assault. Yeah, I forgot to do it before. And it's dead. Yay, obtain two macaroons. Don't you love how this game works? Okay. So, go to our skills. There we go, Trinity Assault. So we have two girls sharing a body with a dragon who's engaged with a red-haired one who's on a quest to fix their... Yes, time travel is involved in this game, too. Um, actually, yeah, the dra- Basically, we're here to make sure that we don't get killed at our, uh, wedding. By we, I mean the dragon. Tech goes down a little bit, but there's a fire element. Depends on who we're going up against. So I'll actually have the fire rifle, but I'll keep the normal knife. Save. And we travel back in time six months before their wedding. Actually, wasn't a whole lot of uh, wait time actually between the localization of this game there. and oh. Is that an assassin? Toki, be careful! Real quick, there we go. And go into another fight because I think that meter actually <laughs> top is our fight. <laughs> Ah, fuck you, Golem. Carry that shit. Oh, there's four enemies in this fight. Holy crap. I think after a while, I just given up on. Yeah, on the hand too much. Aha! Okay, two more uh, enemies after this now. And then a boss. I think the time travel aspect is just really added for the uh, storyline. Like, you can't do time travel for battles, at least not that I'm aware of. And this is our party throughout the entire game. It's just me and her. And by me, I mean the dragon. Even though I'm controlling her and not the dragon, which makes no sense. Alright. 
boss time. Bo boss time. So, you must be one of the assassins, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm a member of the Assassin's Guild. Whoa, that was easy. I want to know all about your plans for attacking the wedding. Tell me everything you know. Huh? Attacking the wedding? I haven't heard any talk like that back at HQ. HQ? So there's some secret place all you guys hang out at? What? How'd you know about our secret HQ? Because you're an idiot. Uh... Isn't that what you were just talking about? Damn you vile temptress! You used your feminine wiles to make me spill the beans! <laughs> oh, come on. This guy's an idiot. They'll assassinate Difficult idiot, me if but an idiot nonetheless. gave up our secret so easily. Now I have to kill you for what you know. Holy shit! No, 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 it allows any creature to speak in human tongues at the first bite. Any creature? Ooh, miss me! This guy can talk too! I need to find out more about this battle bill. Now let me tell you more about this battle bill. Whoa, so sweet! First of all, it's extremely south. Said I wanted to know anything about it. No! Here I come! Oh god. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Uh, heal, please. strategy right now looks like okay it's a fairly straightforward strategy while he tries to hit me with command mail wave I'll just uh I'll just keep dodging dodge again Obtain Condor Wing. Now, tell me what you know. What I know is we abide only by the commands of our master. Farewell. No, wait! What about the Babelberries? Where do we find them? Well, finisher as an F I N I S H E R. Though I guess the whole um, H E R kind of threw that off. I mean, I was using my finisher. Not trying to finish her. Using my finisher. Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Linus. Hi, Lucy. I had to see you again, Toa. I'm Toki. I'm not Toa, but okay. I'd like you to know, I came up with the perfect way to ask for your hand. Can he not tell the difference? One is blonde, Did the other's redhead. Say... <laughs> Ow. Oh, Dios mio! What painful strength! I know, because Zack is a badass. Not. So, will you inhale and then exhale the same breath with me? Together forever. Um, no. 
She's engaged with me. I'm okay, thanks. No, no, no! What's your problem? Do you hate me or something? Isn't it obvious? Much like your owner, it seems you refuse to go easy on your target. I sure as hell don't. I suppose I shall retire for today. Adios, senorita. Yes, the guy has an accent, and it's quite amusing. Yay, I finished the quest. 100 chronos? What the hell is that? Let's head home to tell everyone what happened in Kiro Isle. Any living creatures that eat a... Babble Berry begins talk like a human. Does that mean Drake learned how to talk? Alright, so now we can go home. But I am curious, what is over here? <laughs> nothing? Re really nothing. Okay, well. Take the waypoint over here. Southernmost area, because we're going back. No, 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 fight! Yes, okay. Exit the world map. Yeah, it might be one of those games. Okay, we're gonna go back to Kamza. And the Assassin's Guild headquarters is somewhere else. That guy did seem pretty honest. Maybe he really was telling the truth. And we're gonna... Before we go back, we're gonna actually finish off one of our...